Lagos called Count Bridge. Oh, I better pass my own cool. First of all, this is a common question people always ask Abuja or Lagos, where should I relocate to? It's something like people like search on google for that matter so if you're not nigerian lagos used to be like the capital of nigeria till it was changed to abuja south <clears throat> my name is ijoma welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking if you're new here welcome 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 like welcome please if you're not yet subscribed what are you waiting for it's free and it will not cost you anything just subscribe the button is below just subscribe i forgot what i was supposed to say let's get Stop there is no it. right or wrong when it comes to choosing a place it's just basically what works for you so i feel i needed to put that out there before i start or continue this conversation because i don't want you to misunderstand me i'm not trying to cite anywhere saying abuja is better or lagos is better i'm just giving my opinion and from the fact i was able to gather online therefore i'll try as much as possible not to be biased with my opinions hopefully i didn't grow up in lagos neither did i grow up in abuja on returning back to nigeria from ukraine um i stayed in lagos for about four months before moving to abuja with that being said the landmass let's start with the landmass abuja and lagos have almost the same landmass although when it comes to population there are about 2.5 million people living here in abuja while in lagos lagos has over 70 million people i haven't said 70 million it's way more than that it's over is about within 20 to 25 million lagos is like half of ghana i said this to say lagos is overly populated the demographics are constantly increasing see let's be honest here let me just forget all this english lagos is congested it's like the world emptied in lagos <laughs> the reason why is because lagos is more of like a place of opportunity lagos is the land of opportunity like there are so many things you can have you ever heard this phrase like it's a nigerian thing it says I know call Lagos called Count Bridge. Oh, don't mind my Fiji. No. People come to Lagos to make it. Like they come to Lagos and they're like, before I leave this Lagos, I must make it. There's so many things that you can do. It's amazing because there are some things, like especially consumables, that you can find in Lagos that you will not find in Abuja. Most of the things that they sell in the malls and the markets, when I check, like um, when I check the locations, most of them are coming all the way from Lagos. People go to Lagos looking for opportunities, and quite all right, they get it. And it's also known as is a place for also, which I don't see here in Abuja. Is this spirit of hustling in Lagos and so many people like that because it actually motivates them to like oh oh boy I cannot slack in Lagos it's like everybody's just running somewhere the spirit is aggressive you understand what I'm saying to a Lagosian an Abuja person we see an Abuja person as slow they are not rushing anywhere and to an average Abuja person living in Abuja when it comes to Lagos he or she is like where are they rushing to but Abuja is kind of more relaxed everybody is like chilled it's like it's money no be problem you know what i'm saying <laughs> not everywhere in abuja is developed i used to think that before coming to abuja that uh, if anyone tells me that i'm living in abuja i'm like oh my god it must be from the money land there are some places you'll be you go to serve you'll be asking yourself is this abuja it's supposed to be the capital city but you expect that everywhere should be developed but actually not yeah when it comes to traffic oh my god i think that is one thing that really agitates people when they go to lagos because the traffic is like maddening the traffic is <sighs> i don't know if there's any word to explain it but like someone would say like other than not being to new york so they say that lagos um traffic is compared to as new york's traffic I don't know which one is way worse. The traffic is so bad that you can be in on the road for about one to three hours. I've experienced it before. Why is the traffic? Because of the people. There are way more people in Lagos and everybody can just can't contain that road. Number two, the reason why there's traffic also is like the bad roads. I mean, the Lagos roads are... Especially in the rainy season, you're going to leave you so... <laughs> I don't want to use the word bad. It's just an eyesore. In Abuja here, even if there was traffic congestion, maybe during the peak hours when people are returning back from work, the traffic clears in less than 5-10 minutes. In Lagos, is a place where you can even sleep. You can sleep in traffic because everybody's on standstill. The cars are not moving. If you can deal with that, then fine. Lagos is for you. If you can deal with the traffic, if, you, if it's something you can overlook, then Lagos is for you. Then ride on. I, man. 
I know government provide funds for these things, but I don't know why they don't go into. We don't see the results. That's just something I don't understand. The roads are so bad that I don't even think a vehicle can last for like two, three years. You already have problem with that vehicle. You hardly see bad roads in Abuja. Your journey is smooth. Okay, that leads me to my next point. Social life. The night life, social life in Lagos is just on point. Whereas in Abuja, maybe it's just me, but I don't think there... Abuja is not bubbly. I see more of conferences, which are not bad, but I'm saying that... um. It's hard for you to see all these like maybe events like put by um bloggers youtubers events or like social gatherings it's once in a blue moon but in lagos you practically have like social events every day even during work days like monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday. there is something happening in lagos when it comes to housing i believe that housing is way cheaper in abuja because you can get a nice place nice environment for let's say 350 and above but in lagos you will get that nice place for let's say for a good like nice apartment not like a all this moribund or something you see something for like 500 450 500 and above so housing is cheaper another good thing i like about lagos is like you can get access to all parts of the country and even international flights like for instance if you want to go if i want to go from abuja to ghana i have to make a stop at lagos first before i go to ghana do you understand what i'm saying and even to most places you have to make a stop like you will get a connecting flight from abuja to lagos to the intended place you're going to because not abuja does not have all like designated flights when it comes to tourism are you serious Abuja has nothing. I don't know what they have here. The first time I came here, I was like, okay, I want to go to places and see like landmarks and everything. My dear, you'll be disappointed. In Lagos, you have over like, like dozens of touristic places you can visit. The, if you're talking about the beaches, is it the Elegushi Beach? Is it Oniru? Beautiful places you can go to in Lagos. Those are the perks about living in Lagos. Our transportation in Abuja is cheaper. Let me tell you something. When it comes to public transportation, yeah, 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 it's cheaper. When I came here, I found that really surprising and amazing. Transportation is very way cheap. You can pay 100 naira to go from here to here. So it's like something like for about like maybe 20, 25 kilometers. Meanwhile, in Lagos, you would pay times five of that to get to your destination. And people don't use Uber here. I know some people don't really use Uber here, like as Lagos, Uber and maybe taxify or something like that and i don't see like in lagos you have like op like all these like motorcycles that operate like ubers in lagos but they don't i don't think no they don't have them yet instead of uber people do drop instead and i think it's cheaper compared to uber okay let's go to electricity except on raining seasons which i don't understand the, the connection between rain and light because when it, it's raining they will just take off the lights and that's it but one thing i've noticed since i came to abuja is the constant supply of electricity in this place i'm saying not less than in a day i'm serious even if they take off the lights it's not it doesn't take like five minutes they bring back the lights in lagos most places i stayed in magodo in lagos man even if the light was quite good, because in some places in Lagos, say, you know, it depends on the area you're staying in. But for most areas in this place, especially this place I'm staying, which I can speak of, and most areas, 20 to 24 hours. Electricity is on point. And because of this, the air that you breathe in Lagos, my God. When I come, when they ask, what in the air pollution is going on? And because of the inconsistency with the power supply in Lagos, everybody's putting on their generators the fumes of the cambo monogs are just going up like spreading so you, you you'll be inhaling nonsense you'll be inhaling poison everybody's putting on their gen i better pass my neighbor i better pass my uncle it's now very much normal to a legation that if they go to another place they find it hard to to leave there because they are used to abnormality if you understand what i'm saying but yeah let's that's just that about that in my own opinion i don't find lagos as a conducive place to bring up your children that's just in my own opinion because it's too crazy living there <laughs> but if you're a lifestyle vlogger you would really love to be in lagos so because you have a lot of things to 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 film like lagos itself eh it's a content did i even just you guys about the crime rates of course you would expect that since there are so many people living in lagos the crime rates is better to be higher in lagos the security is way lesser it's not that tight 
the security is way lesser and the security is way better here in abuja except you're living in like maybe banana island or something which i don't know about see guys one thing i promise is like lagos will make you street smart because i think it's important for you to not just be book smart but also be street smart it's a place you can go to live and just go and train yourself once they cheat you um, that's the word cheat once they cheat you once or twice in the market or like maybe you're going somewhere transportation or something you are going to wisen up the pain from whatever the cheats the cheating when once they like people cheat you on the street or something like when you go to buy something or something you're going to wake up and you'll be like yeah nobody can do this to me anymore so i think that's what lagos does to you <laughs> honestly and i appreciate that i appreciate the moments in lagos because it helped me and it's still helping me now in various aspects in my life someone said lagos is stressful but it has all the headquarters all the companies have their headquarters in lagos so it now depends on your line of work or business while you'll find most government workers in abuja um governmental parasitals like all the core agencies and parasitals have their towers like nnpc foreign affairs ministries and others with these few points of mind i hope i've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that the choice is yours <laughs> So it's up to you, depending on you, what you want. Thank you all for watching and coming to my TED Talk. It was wonderful speaking with you. If you stay to the end, please say hi in the comment section. I stay to the end. That's what you write there. <laughs> Let's take the discussion further in the comment section below. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you still waiting for? Why not subscribe? And see you somewhere at time. It's Ijoa. Bye.